the exciting part of like why AI is so interesting is we're overflowing with data, you know, and and I think that that is makes everything a lot easier. I've I've made a lot of really fun things with a small amount of data, and it's exciting. I think it's really a combination of three things and like there's three mm -hmm. trends all intersected at the same time. Number one is yeah. data, as you mentioned. Yeah. And uh, number two is compute power. Yes. Right? You know, yes, Moore's definitely. law is still very much in effect. And if anything, it's <laughs> yeah. accelerating. Yeah. And and then number three, of course, is like high level APIs and connectivity that allows mm -hmm. like open source to be shared. Yes. Uh, you know, yeah, that's wait, a good call. You know, way back in 1992, like when I was talking about, it's like you'd had to buy Prolog on a, a, about 50 floppy disks at a cost <laughs> of about 300 bucks, you know, that kind of thing. And it was like, you know, you had to really want the thing. But yeah. now, like, you know, Python, for example, is open source. And I don't know if yeah. JavaScript's open source, but freely available open source tools for you to be able to program with it and all of that kind of stuff. And it's those intersections of those three things has just certainly made it, like, you know, feasible and possible and kind of easy.